friends contactor we use and the overload relay we use if these do not work properly then we have to check it in this condition and to check it we always use a multimeter now by using this multimeter how we will check the contactor and overload relay let's understand through this video first we learn to check the contactor and then we will understand about the overload relay we have to check three things in this contactor first of all this contactor here coil of this contactor here like these a1 and a2 terminals we have to check the resistance of the coils connected to these a1 and a2 terminals that whether it is proper or not second we have to check the power terminal third we have to check the nonc contact so first let's check the coil of the contactor i have switched on the multimeter after switching on to the terminal of the coil of the contactor we have to connect the probe of the multimeter as you can see here it is written a1 and here it is written a2 you have to connect the probe of the multimeter to these two terminals after connecting you have to check how much resistance multimeter is showing as you can see we are getting a resistance of 565.1 ohm if i connect these two probes together then the value of resistance is zero if i connect these two probes here like this then i am getting some value of resistance if the multimeter shows the value of resistance then you can say that the contactor is correct similarly there is a value of resistance of the coil of the contactor to find out the value you have to check the data sheet of the contactor you have to check the resistance of the coil of the contactor at the time when it was made and what is the value of resistance currently you have to measure the resistance in the current time if you get a little difference then everything is fine but if you see more difference in the resistance then the coil of the contactor is faulty after this in this contactor you will find the power terminal to check the power terminal with l1 t1 l2 t2 l3 t3 you have to connect the probe of multimeter with these terminals you have to connect one probe of the multimeter to l1 then the second probe will be connected to t1 if you connect one multimeter probe to l2 then the second probe will be connected to t2 it means at the terminal you will connect a probe you have to connect another probe at the same below terminal because we have to check this contact when we turn on the contactor contact gets closed when we turn off this contact gets open like when i connect the multimeter probe with these two terminals i am not getting any continuity here but as soon as i turn on the contactor you will see that the multimeter is beeping at the same time we are also getting resistance here so you can understand that after starting the contactor we will get continuity here and after releasing this we will not get any resistance or continuity here only by pressing we will get continuity here in the same way we will also check the other terminals like l2 terminal and t2 terminal here we will connect the multimeter probe with it then we will press the contactor we should get continuity here you can see that continuity is there which means everything is correct after releasing this continuity is gone after pressing we are getting continuity here now we will check the third terminal here we are getting continuity after releasing continuity is gone so if you want to check the power terminal of this contactor then simply by using this multimeter's continuity position you can check the continuity now nonc contact is left so you have to check the nonc contact in the same way if you check the no contact then you will not get any continuity here in normal condition as you can see i am not getting any continuity here now if i press this plunger you will see that we started getting continuity which means our contactor is correct after releasing continuity is gone on pressing continuity is there if after pressing the contactor you are getting continuity from the no contact then you can understand that the contact is correct in the same way if you want to check the nc contact then you can check it in this contactor there was no nc contact so i am using this contactor the lower terminal of this contactor is the nc contact so i will connect the multimeter probe with it you can see that i am getting continuity here but when i will press this continuity will go on releasing continuity is there so you can understand that to check the contactor we have to measure the resistance of the coil of the contactor apart from this we have to check the nonc contact of the power contact and auxiliary contact after the contactor we have to check the overload relay power contact is always nc contact so you will get continuity here you have to connect one probe of the multimeter here connect the other probe here you should get continuity here you can see that continuity is there let's check the second terminal here also we should get continuity continuity is there which means it is correct here also i am getting continuity which means it is also correct after this we have to check the overload relays nonc contact 
So I have selected the continuity position here. After selecting, I connected the probe of the multimeter with ANO contact. You can see that I am not getting continuity here. After this, I will check the NC contact. Here I should get continuity. Continuity is there. Now if I want to trip this overload relay, like here a button is given to trip, so I will operate this. So you can see that continuity is stopped here. You will see that the continuity is stopped from NC contact. But we start getting continuity on the ANO contact. As you can see, continuity is shown here. So if you want to check overload relay, first of all, check on ANO contact and NC contact. You should not get continuity on ANO contact and you should get continuity on NC contact. After checking, operate the test button here. After operating, you will start getting continuity on ANO contact. It means this overload relay is correct. After this, you will not get continuity on NC contact. If you put the overload relay in the test position, it means if you trip the overload relay, then you will not get continuity here. I am resetting this. After resetting, the continuity has started showing here. So how to check overload relay and how to check contactor, I have explained to you in detail. 